were move an emergency room for all intent and purposes. 75 years ago, a group of men in Petersburg had a vision. And when I was growing up, I loved telling people my daddy was in the emergency crew. Jarvis's dad was one of those men, Monk Jarvis a charter member in 1945. 75 years later, a lot has changed since those early days. The crew didn't have ambulances for a long time. As for training... The most training you had was advanced first aid. Pat would join his dad as a volunteer in 1963. So we've been through some really big changes in this crew. It's, it's been awesome to be associated with it. Saving lives has always been the goal, and Southside Virginia Emergency Crew has done more than provide an ambulance to the Petersburg area. At one time, they did technical rescue. They'll pull back and maintain tension against the rope. And used a boat looking for drowning victims, all while continuing to improve their life-saving skills in the back of an ambulance. One life forever changed by the emergency crew. When I was four years old, this rescue squad saved my life. After the emergency crew had the asthma attack under control, Bubby's mother laid down the law. Boy, when you get old enough, you go join that crew. You will help people out. 53 years ago at age 16, Bubby Bish did just that. We just took a 40-hour American Red Cross first aid class. That was it. Back then, it was load and go. Went to the highest, found out what was wrong with them, put them on a stretcher, and took them to the hospital. We did absolutely zero. Uh, pre-hospital care. Times have changed. We have everything on that truck except for a doctor. Our people are highly trained. We continue to train all the time. B. Betts is the longest serving female crew member. I was teaching at a private school and thought I can't stay here forever so I might as well go try that for a while. It's been 33 years. Today we're still a valuable service maybe even more valuable because of the things we can do. Along with medical skill advancements in the field, Southside Virginia Emergency Group has responded to some historic challenges. And of course, the tornado that came through Petersburg and Corona Heights. Bubby and other crew members spent four days at the Pentagon following the 9-11 attack. What a remarkable adventure for me to work and help people from all over the world. But Bubby Bish says nothing in his 53 years compares to COVID-19. COVID-19 has been a, a, a really a stress, especially not just for me, but the providers here at Southside Virginia Emergency Crew. While the skill level of crew members has changed, so has the equipment. My first ambulance I bought here as, as the captain of the crew was $30,000. And the last one I just bought was $270,000. And that didn't include the stretcher. And Bubby Bish believes more life-saving changes are on the horizon. I see great advancements in the future. 75 years. A lot has changed since volunteers took the ambulance home for the night. Now they're paid paramedics on duty 24-7. What's important is the dedication of everyone ever involved in helping save countless lives. A dedication to service that continues today. That's a look inside Wayne's world. I'm Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.